What's good, people? It's K Spade, the prospect, aka the big blue Chevy driver, and sometimes referred to as the YouTube Rookie of the Year. I got some more M Dub Three gameplay footage for you guys. It's a team death match on Dome. No, it's not the same one I already showed you. It's just my favorite map. So every time I go here, I get happy. I mean, happy like a fat kid in a candy store. Uh, happy like an old guy who sees an electric wheelchair in Walmart. I don't know. Whatever makes people happy. So I'm always happy when I see Dome because the maps on this game are so bad. So the last time, you know, I made a video, we talked about maps, and I told you guys that the maps were bad. They was too busy, but the flow was good. You know, meaning that it was more than one way to get to the camping spot. But you know what? I would like to retract that statement. The maps, they're just horrible. I'm sorry, y'all. I tried to be positive. I want to like this game because I just put $60 in it, 60 hard-earned dollars in it. But the maps are ridiculous. And, and I'm not even going to say they're bad, but... They're bad. I'm sorry. I tried. They're just bad maps. So, I mean, you cannot have maps that have numerous buildings with windows that can watch three directions. Because what's happening, what we're seeing a lot of, is whole teams holding down buildings. You know, put a guy in this window, a guy in this window, a guy in this window. Get a guy to watch the door. Set a claymore. Throw a bouncing Betty on the floor. Get an assassin pro kid to sit across the street. And that's the whole, like, that's a whole match. That's ridiculous. Like, I don't even think, come on, man. What's so frustrating about it is I keep thinking back to that, you know, pre-release trailer with that one guy saying, we're taking it back to the gunfight. No, sir, you didn't, we're nowhere near a gunfight. The only way you're going to get a gunfight in this game is if one of your bad spawns, which is pretty bad as well, spawns a guy right beside you. You're going to scare the shit out of each other. You're both going to pull your guns out. That's the only way you're going to get a gunfight. Trust me. So it's only about three maps that I like on this game. I'm not even going to say that. It's, it's three maps on this game that allow me to be me. That play like I play. I don't know why this kid keeps going back up there. I don't know if he lost his car keys or what. But that's his favorite spot. So I like Dome. I like Mission. And it's another map, but I don't know the name of it. So... At any rate, those maps allow me to be me. So when I was looking for, uh, you know, a game to upload for you guys tonight, I'm going through, you know, and I label my games out kind of weird stuff. So I see 25 and 2. So I'm like, 25 and 2 sounds pretty good. You know, let's throw this up. So I go and look at it, and I say, I, I can't put this on YouTube. It was just me sitting in a window. But, I mean, before you look at me crazy, it was how many people's in a team death match? 12. It was 11 other people sitting in different windows. So I think my two deaths came from me just running down the street looking for a gunfight. You know, you, you shoot me the first time from the window. I say, okay, I go another way. I go another way. I get shot from the window. And I'm like, forget it. You know, I'm not finna run around and ruin my KD for these guys to sit in the window and just camp and kill. I'm not finna do that. That I would be a fool to do that. And you know the old saying, mama ain't raised no fool. And then again, look at this. Why don't I just aim at this guy? Well, damn. I don't know. Mama didn't raise a fool, but sometimes I don't use my head. If I just aim down the sight, it, you know, it's a done deal. But anyway, keeping it moving, me and one of my Aussie subs, Man Bear Fridge, we had a conversation about whether or not Assassin was overpowered, or Assassin Pro. I'm really, it, it doesn't matter. Let's say Assassin Pro. And I defended it because I said, well, you know, with the support setup, they made it pretty easy in this game for you to get the, whatever, the Super UAV, this year's version of the Blackbird. But what I didn't know at the time that I've learned now is for some odd reason that thing doesn't stay up long. A regular UAV stays up longer than this thing. And why am I putting the Predator over here? Okay, that's a whole nother story. So now I got to go back on that and I got to say, honestly, like, I don't want to say it, but Assassin Pro, it is overpowered. You know, the things that made Black Ops not fun to me was with stopping power gone, everybody went, oh my god, hold on, uno, dos, tres, oh, oh, oh. I just turned to the Spanish count, like I jump out the door with a P90, shoot three people, and I don't think anybody even saw me, what, what is really going on, okay, anyway, back to the, pre no, I thought I had another predator, but I don't, this is something even major, but I never get to shoot it, but anyway, before this video end, let me end my thought, uh, Assassin Pro, it's making this ghost in Black Ops and the bad hit detection here is making the bad hit detection in Black Ops. So, yeah, I'm going to end it. My verdict is Assassin Pro is overpowered. I'm out, y'all. Peace.